Well, switching gears now, heading to Washington, the original legislation was to, supposed to help farmers, but when the farm bill was stunningly voted down last night, it really didn't have much to do with farmers at all. It turned into a battle over a portion of the bill dealing with the food stamp program. Here are the facts first. A large number of Democrats say that the increase for those receiving benefits wasn't big enough, and the bill was loaded with add-ons, so they voted it down. Meantime, many conservative Republicans thought that the increase was way too much, so they voted it down, too. Caught in the middle, though, thousands of local farmers. As Jennifer Lukey shows us now, the defeat of this bill could mean higher prices at the grocery store for all of us. I think this is a national security issue. Uh, if we lose our family farms, we're going to end up guarding food overseas. And, uh, you know, not unlike the way we've been involved uh, in other countries with regard to oil. Congressman Chris Gibson has been pushing this farm bill hard. There are more than a thousand farms in his district, and some are just barely holding on. If we don't get these reforms in, uh, we could very well lose more dairy farmers. Uh, be, you know, when you look at the drought last year and what that did to grain prices, we had dairy farmers who were working seven days a week and losing money. The fewer the farms, the shorter the supply, and that will impact all of us. And in the absence of it, you're going to see rising prices uh, for consumers. Theoretically, you could have double the price of milk. I don't see that happening. Eric Ums's dairy farm has been in business for more than 50 years in Valencia. We produce dairy products that the American public wants, whether it be for drinking milk, cheese, or yogurt. And the farm bill sets the policy of how we deliver it from my farm to the consumer's table. It also adds conservation, promotion, and energy efficiency incentives for farmers. Another provision of the bill was more insurance and help with deductibles for farmers whose crops rely on good weather, like this strawberry farm here in Kinderhook. Um says all of these parts of the bill would go a long way in making the business less volatile and keeping consumer prices stable. But now, just like what will happen next with this farm bill itself, there's a lot of uncertainty. In Valencia, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News. Congress has until September 30th to come up with a farm bill that it can agree upon and reconcile with the Senate. If that doesn't happen, then they would have to extend the current law or else policy would revert back to the 1950s bill.